All right, we're ready for our next person. It's Madison. Come on, give him a round of applause. Hello. Good evening, everybody. I, uh, in fourth grade, on Valentine's Day, I was out at recess, and uh, a girl approached me with two of her friends, and uh, she'd, uh, she'd been courting me for a couple weeks. She'd uh, been asking if I would go out with her, which is what you call dating in the fourth grade, which makes no sense because you can't go anywhere in the fourth grade. Uh, she'd be like, do you want to stay here with me? Sure, we'll stay here. But she, she, she kept asking me if I would go out with her. I kept saying no, not because not I didn't like her, but I was just so young I didn't really get the whole girl thing. Um, but, but on this day, on Valentine's Day, she pulled out all the stops, and she presented me with uh, a chocolate heart. It was a big one. It was like about this big, and it, it wasn't like a bullshit hollow one either. It was just solid chocolate all the way through. Like, it's pretty much like going all the way when you're in the fourth grade. You know? <laughs> And so she handed it to me, and I looked down at it, and it was, it was wrapped in red foil, and in pink lettering it said, Will you be my Valentine? And I, I looked at the chocolate, and I looked at her, and, and for reasons I don't know, I ripped the foil off and shoved the entire thing <laughs> into my mouth. And I, I still have a small mouth, but back then, it was even smaller. So I couldn't fit it in, I was just kind of pushing on it. <laughs> And I, I wasn't so much eating it as I was just like trying to mash it up so I could fit more in. And it started to liquefy and drip down my chin and onto my shirt and just all along. And she's just standing there quietly looking at me the whole time. And a couple minutes go by and I realize I'm not going to be able to eat this whole thing. My mouth is so full of chocolate I can't really breathe. And so I just bend over and I spit out what's in my mouth and it just slowly glops out and there's like one of those long brown saliva strings all the way to the ground that I have to like try and get off my lip and finally I w wipe myself up and I look at her and she says so will you go out with me and I should have asked her to marry me at this point but instead I said no nah, I'm gonna play kickball and I just walked away from this poor girl so that night I'm at home and my mom, as she always said, well, what happened at school today? And I said, well, a girl, uh, she gave me a chocolate heart and asked me to be her boyfriend. And she was like, oh, that's so cute. What did you say? I said, no. I said, no. She said, that's fine, but you have to give back the chocolate heart. That's how gifts work. And I said, I can't. And she said, why not? And I said, because I ate it. She said, when did you eat it? I said, right after she gave it to me. She's like, so she, she, she asked you out and gave you a heart and you just ate it right in front of her and said no? Pretty much that's how it went, yeah. And so for the next, she was pissed. For the next 30 minutes, she told me, it's not how you treat women. That's not how dating works. You know, she told me how, how you let people down nicely that you don't like and how gifts work. And she made me promise to apologize the next day. And when you're 10, apologizing is lame. So the next day I was like, I'm not gonna apologize, that's stupid. I'll, uh, to fix this, I'll just go out with her. That's how I'll fix this. And so I asked her out, uh, by which I mean I told my friends to tell her friends to tell her, <laughs> which they did. So we were going out and we were dating and it was my first girlfriend and I'd talked to this girl a little bit before but as soon as we were dating, just silence. I had no idea what to say to a girlfriend. Like, do I tell her I love her? I don't, how does this work? So the whole day, you know, we didn't talk at all, and I didn't know what to do with a girlfriend, but I kind of liked it, you know, it felt adult. My, uh, my parents had divorced, my mom, it had been a few years, she hadn't started dating, I was like, maybe I can give her some advice, you know, now that I'm in a relationship. You just ask your friends to tell her his friends, mom. And so I was, I was really into it, and uh, the next day I came to school, and my friend Brian pulled me aside and he said, I have to tell you something about your girlfriend. And I said, oh, no, what? And he said, I heard from Kelly that at Michelle's birthday party, your girlfriend put a tube of chapstick in her vagina. <laughs> yeah, and I, I only vaguely knew what a vagina was at this point, but from his tone, I was pretty sure that wasn't good. He's like, you don't, you don't want to date a girl like that does that, do you? And in my head, I was like, I don't, I don't know, maybe. Uh, but, you know, peer pressure, I was like, no, no, of course not, of course not. And so that day, I, uh, I broke up with, with her that day, by which I mean I told my friends to tell her friends 
that we were broken up. And so uh, that was actually that was the first time I ever got a gift from a girl. That was the first time uh, I ever dated a girl. And it lasted 24 hours, and we didn't say one word to each other. So I'm Madison. Thanks a lot, everybody. Madison, you got to come back to pick up the team. Come on, give him another round of applause. That's great. Awesome.